Okay, hello everyone. I hope you're not very tired because this will be a very fast presentation where the, I will mention uh, from when many cool softwares, very quick. So don't try to catch everything uh, because the idea in this presentation is, is inspiring you by saying that this software exists and you can do this with this and then this all complex stuff about software will come up later in a detailed presentation after if you are interested you can find online and you can find tutorials and everything so this is about giving some brief idea how useful some other softwares when you com combine them with Wikidata because this um, Wikimedia ecosystem is quite huge and like I think I am in this ecosystem for like five years already and in my first years I didn't recognize that what I am actually into and then I recognize more and more uh, there are many softwares there are many people who designs uh, better and better stuff for free knowledge and when you discover more you inspire more and more project came to your mind uh, when you discover your tools it's like when you for example play guitar you can come up some, with some songs uh, because you know the instrument and then project comes after that but when you don't know the tools and when you don't know how to find them probably uh, you will lack of it, like your inspiration, your creativity uh, will be less than your potential. So this presentation's purpose is giving you some insights about um, possible interesting softwares that you can play with. First of all, uh, who is speaking? Um, I'm a software developer. I was uh, one of the, I actually still am maybe, uh, one of the developers of Wikimedia Commons Android application. If you use it, um, I would be happy. And I am a free software advocate and uh, also free knowledge advocate. I am one of the members of Free Software Association located in Turkey. I'm a feminist and vegan and I like to say that in every possible occasion. So here you hear it. Um, and I'm an amateur photographer. If you are into photography, find me and I like to talk about it uh, if you are also interested. So why I, dis uh, I picked this topic? Um, I think that, 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 as I said earlier, strong tools will boost our possibility, our uh, impact uh, of our work. And also, as a software developer by my, myself too, I want my software to be used. Every software developer are, uh, will be very happy if you use their software because they write them uh, with many hopes and like when you use them, when you bug report them, they become very happy. It is another point I want uh, to spread this knowledge. Uh, but the biggest impact, the, this, uh, the, when this idea came to my mind, uh, this icon logo you saw is Wikimedia Coolest Tool Awards. Uh, it is actually a software competition where you pick cool softwares in many categories in this Wikimedia ecosystem. I was uh, in this academy uh, on previous year and the year before that. So. During this, um, during this competition, I recognize that there are many cool projects that I never even heard about. And now I decided uh, to pick these projects, some of them, especially the ones uh, about Wikidata, and share with you because I think they are super useful and super cool. Uh, also, if you have a project in your mind, I think uh, these softwares can facilitate and they can, they can make it happen. And even better, if you don't have a project yet, I think after you solve the softwares, a project came to your mind because I think this uh, softwares will inspire you uh, in reverse direction too. So our first tool is Entity Explosion. Uh, this tool is very cool for any internet user, any like anyone who browses things on internet, like all of us. Uh, this is a Chrome and Firefox extension and when you are searching something, uh, when it finds something matches with a Wikidata item uh, in your URL, it displays your item and it gives you some uh, related links. Uh, for example, you search something about butterflies and you search specific butterfly type 
and then it recognizes, it catches from URL, and it gives you this butterfly Wikidata item without you changing your tab, without you going to Wikidata or anything. It's just an extension in your corner, uh, in your screen. And this cool uh, tool is created by uh, Toby Hudson, and it is one of the 2020 honorable mention winner of this uh, coolest tool award. So more info can be found here, and no worries, uh, this uh, slides will be shared with you. And this is the example usage of it. You can see this corner. Uh, it is green, actually. Green means that it catches something. This is one of the movies that I see recently, and it's an amazing movie I recommend. And uh, I was in this um, IMDb page of it, and then it says green. means that it finds it, and it actually finds this item for this movie in Wikidata when you search on IMDb. So it's very, very functional. Also, it gives you many other like link, uh, properties to on the behind. Another tool is uh, Listeria. Uh, this this tool is actually amazing for if you want to create some lists on Wikipedia based on Wikidata queries. Maybe Wikidata query concept is confusing for you currently because we just introduced this area. Uh, but tomorrow you, um, I think you will hear about SparkQL queries. And then after this uh, SparkQL uh, workshop, I think this will make more sense. Uh, this tool is created Magnus Manske. And if like you don't know um, who is created one tool in this environment, I think you can easily come up with Magnus Manske and probably you will be right because he, he creates many tools. Uh, he is really amazing. This is also honorable mention uh, winner software. Uh, it is actually for editors uh, who create lists. For example, there is an example usage in Turkish Wikipedia. Um, this SparkQL query is like code the area. Uh, actually, search for Wikidata items like women's uh, notable women that are not on Wikipedia. Have you ever heard about Women in Red project? Yes, and this um, actually how we create Women in Red project lists automatically because this Listeria bot generates them, updates them automatically for you. So another tool, mix and match. So today um, in early presentations, we uh, learn about how to enter items to Wikidata. And I think this question came up, how we will enter them one by one. Uh, sometimes we don't enter them one by one. Sometimes there are many big uh, data sets already, and you can enter them uh, by these functional tools uh, as a batch input. So this mix and match, again by Magnus Manske, um, also this is uh, an, an, another conference awards winner I want to like mention from that too. Uh, if you have a, for example, library, catalog, or gallery um, database or something, you can batch input that, and this mix and match will help you to match them to Wikidata item. And you can uh, either confirm that if it is in the Wikidata already, and you can also add them if they are not uh, in, in it. You can create new items, or if it's irrelevant, you can just skip it. So. By this uh, tool, you will enter batch data to Wiki, Wikidata. And so it is very, very good for uh, glam, um, glam purpose user uses. Also, I am having an, some allergy. That's why I have to drink something constantly. Sorry. <coughs> uh, this query is one of uh, my other favorite tool from High um, Crannon. Querying sometimes can be hard for not very like uh, coder users. And this with query gives us a chance to query Wikidata without using uh, SparkWell. It has very, very simple, like you can see, basic English sentences. It has this interface. And you can, for example, query in this query, you uh, query photographers and female photographers, and you see the list of these female photographers in Wikidata uh, without actually writing SparkWell. But also SparkWell is very strong and I recommend you to learn. How many rules can you add? Sorry? How many rules can you add? How many rules? 
I think you can add many. Like we can check. Uh, by the way, like this sort of uh, I am some of like for example, I know SkyQuell. I never use with Query. That's why, and I am not use the heavy users of some of them. So we can discover it together, or we can do it later, considering the time. Okay. This is this is a very interesting one. This uh, Wikidata graph builder. I really like to play with them uh, a lot. By Agri Loki. Uh, it actually visualize, visualizes the relationships in Wikidata because sometimes, for example, I'm checking um, human, and I don't know what human uh, like subclass of and like what is the parent class of it. Like it's easy to get lost in Wikidata interface, and this software actually gives us a way um, to understand where we are. I will actually show you some example. I hope. Is it happening? Yes. Yeah. Now, you see a uh, root item is house cat. So uh, the relation uh, traversal property is a uh, subclass of. And uh, mod is reverse. So it will make more sense soon. Uh, for example, this house cat goes uh, to till feral cats in Istanbul. Uh, with class relationship. And if I do it forward and boil it, this house cat is actually a domesticated mammal and it's a captive mammal and it's a mammal and then it goes animal, organism and till entity. So it's really nice to follow these relationships um, to like uh, forward and backward I think. Oh, now where is my presentation? Yeah, here. Okay. Okay, this is also very, very um, helpful. Recoin. Uh, Recoin is actually a relative, uh, relative, uh, relative complete, completeness in indicator. And it is giving us an idea about how complete our item is. Uh, you see this green, uh, like, sorry, uh, yellow thing? It can be green too. There is five degrees about it. And it gives you how complete your Wikidata item is by comparing this item with similar other items. So basically, um, this is a, a politician, and it compares this item with other politician items, and it recognizes there are some missing information. It can be improved. So if you're an editor, you can uh, basically aim to make it uh, green from yellow. It is again uh, by Agri uh, Loki, the developer. Uh, it is for authors who want to improve Wikidata uh, to make it complete. Also, when you are a reader, it's also nice to know that your item is not proper yet, like not ready yet. It's also nice to know it as a reader too. This tool is also one of my favorites, uh, Wikidata Pro Pros. Okay, in this uh, community, you will recognize many people, uh, they know these properties by memory. They know them. They just say it like, okay, this is this, this is this. I'm not one of them, and I always feel like browsing for these properties. And Hey Krenen uh, actually designed a tool for it. Do I have to open it? Maybe not. Yes, maybe yes. Okay. For example, like uh, if I search Oward, I can see many Oward property that I can actually um, find. Also under them, uh, you can see example items. So you can easily uh, understand which property you better use if you want uh, further deep. And uh, Wikidata Walkabout is also a similar um, similar uh, project. This city provides a drill down interface uh, for exploring our data in Wikidata. And also, the nice thing, it also gives us the SparkQL query. So you basically use uh, just click uh, interface, uh, but also you get the SparkQL query at the end. 
Uh, it is also nice for users who are not uh, very familiar with SparkWell. Why I cannot reach to this? No, it's about a network, I think. It's not a HTTPS thing. Oh, very sad. What? Okay, I'm sorry. At least I can show you this um, this part. This doesn't mean anything, actually. Okay, I click first uh, film films, and then Cannes Film Festival Grand Prix receiver films, and it gave me a whole list of Cannes Film Festival uh, awards receiver films, and also, in the bottom of the list, it gives me the Sparkwell query to actually get this list. So it works reverse. You don't have to write the query first. You have to uh, click something and you get your data and then you can see the query and it's also nice to learn uh, Sparkwell, I think. And there is this Wikidata game uh, software. Uh, this is uh, some uh, gamification. Uh, if you like add some fun, if you want to add some fun to free knowledge improvement, it's from Magnus Mansky again. I think it's amazing for editatons. Like if you are doing some editatons, especially if it's like high school um, students, um, I think it's amazing uh, playing this kind of game. And they are super, like some of them, some of them are hard. Some of them are super easy, straightforward. You just click and you also, by doing this, you improve this uh, information which is cool, I think. And all the good wiki shoot me. Again, Magnus Manske, thank you. He's such a developer. Um, this um, gives us a map. I think this is the map of this area. And this uh, shows us the Wikidata items who has a, not an image. So you can basically open this app and with your camera and you can take the picture of this place and you can upload and you can satisfy um, these uh, red dots and turn them to green. So it's um, amazing for if you are traveling frequently, it's amazing for you. Also you can use uh, Wikimedia Commons Android application. It has uh, this nearby feature and it's also uses the similar logic. Um, th there is an uh, image property of Wikidata uh, location uh, items, which is locations. Really? No, no. Like, uh, so you mean like exif data? No. 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 In the Wikidata item, there is coordination. Yes. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And it has a coordinate location. Yes. Yes, yes. That's why I can show it to you on the Exactly, yes. It's already on Wikidata. And, but it's uh, item property, uh, sorry, uh, image property is uh, missing. That's why uh, you can easily upload its image property and you can make it a complete, like better uh, item. So you're not adding a new item here, you are just improving the quality of this already existing item, if it's clear. And of course, as a proper Wikimedian, I'm not giving you fishes. I don't, I, I, I teach you how to fish, sorry. I'm, fish has to be free. I teach you how to pick apples. And that's why uh, you want, if you want to discover more tools, we have toolhub.wikimedia.org. This is where you can find uh, almost all softwares related in this ecosystem, which will facilitate your life a lot. So you can basically, it's uh, developed by James here, here. And you can basically, I just tool hopped in tool hub. It is a screenshot of this. I will hope it will happen this time. Yeah. You can basically check for Wikidata here. And you, you will see uh, Wikidata related projects here. And you can do, like, you can search many things like bots, uh, web applications. So it has filters. So this is a huge community. There are many, many softwares. 
and I think it's nice to give some time to discover them because it really makes everything a lot easier. Um, I will be very happy if you have heard about some projects that you never heard before and I will be even more happier uh, if you are inspired by some of these projects and their ability. Uh, I want to thank all of these developers who most of the time voluntarily develop these tools and thank you for listening. It's, uh.